Hello and welcome to another episode of Train Sim World 2, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before we begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already and follow up with the bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. I would also like to encourage you to join my Discord server, where you can interact with me and other Train Sim World fans, talk about the game in general, share some cool mods, or just chill. You can find link in the description down below this video. So, welcome back in final episode of Sandpatch Great series. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin our last journey mission in Sandpatch Great. Wow, it's been a long time since I started this series, isn't it? Yeah, th there were so many episodes. Wow. Anyway, we are about to finish this one. And with that said, well, I will have to choose another journey to start on and, and uh, go through it. So, I will leave that decision to you, dear viewers. And I will leave the vote on my Discord server. So... This week's episode will be also a short break from Train Sim World 2. A short, because I will take a week break to give you time to cast your votes. And then we're going to kick off with a brand new series in two weeks from now on. So hop into my Discord server. There will be a text channel called Votes, where you can vote on the next series. Right. With that said, uh, we can now begin, shall we? Okay, so the last mission that we are going to go through is I-368 Manifest Chicago to Cumberland. Let's get going. Okay, so it's 2.57, run this manifest train to Cumberland Yard. At Cumberland Yard you will need to set out the rear 12 cars. It should take us roughly around 90 minutes. I doubt it will be that short. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, let's see where we are at. Okay, we definitely need some wipers. Uh, at least 50%. It might be a bit too small. Okay. Uh, let's turn on the wipers on... ...on the passenger seat or for the secondary driver. Okay. Perfect. Let's have a look where we are at. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. There is a train right next to us. Uh, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, how's the rear of our train looking? Okay, there is nothing. Perfect. So, we just need to set up these two locomotives. Right, let's get back to our seat. We can turn on the lights. And now we can stand up. Right, so, distributed power needs to be on. Uh, window heaters. Yeah, let's turn them on. Uh, crosswalks on. Control pump on. Number lines on. Perfect. Headlight control. Single or middle unit? No. Uh, that's going to be short foot lead. Perfect. Uh, we can turn generator field on. Control is on, engine run is on, dynamic brake is on, heating air conditioner is off, okay, that's fine. I will set the brakes when we are closer to set off. Now, let's get to second locomotive, let's set it up. Whew, that was cold. Right, we don't need distributed power, we don't need window heaters. Number lights can be on. Uh, 
that's gonna be Longwood Trail. There we go. Perfect. Air brakes. Uh, let's check the air brakes. Okay, it's set for, for trail. So there is nothing we need to touch in here. Apart from these controls. Engine run is off. Generator of field is off. And control is off. Perfect. And that should be it. Is it? Engine control run. Okay, perfect. We don't need distributed power on this one. Good. No. Oh dear, I, I hate when that happens. Right. We can get back to front locomotive. Oh, the train right next to us is now moving. Perfect. Ooh, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is to set our air brakes. I believe, yes, they are set to trail. Uh, they need to be cut in and lead. Save settings. Okay, let's exit this one. And now we should be ready to go. Are we? Yes, we are. So, reverse it forwards. Okay, lights are on. Is everything else on? Okay, automatic brake can be released. We will have to wait for the brake pipe to charge in. It's gonna take a while. Independent brake is released. Is it? Bail off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's give it. Oh, it's on break. There we go. Power handle on notch one. So that the train won't roll back. And we are now attempting at least to move. Okay, that's perfect. That is just perfect. It's gonna take a while before this train can eventually move. Okay, let's try notch two. Okay, we are starting to move. Are we? No. Not just yet. Ooh, it's... It is definitely taking a while before this train can... Move. Oh. There we go, finally. Okay. It should be easy from now on. Perfect. Just perfect. Wow, it's, it's... Weather is really terrible today. Just look at this. Visibility is... Wow. Oh my goodness, the visibility is just terrible. Uh, let's crank up the wipers. So I can barely see what's in front of me. That's not exactly the most appropriate situation. Okay, the train is now fully rolling. That is perfect. It is gonna take a while before we get to speed. Let's give it notch three. Perfect. Just perfect.
Well, this scenario should be quite easy. Uh, I don't expect any issues uh, during this one. We will obviously get to Cumberland, uh, detach those 12 wagons, park the train where we have to, and that's gonna be it. I think it should take us roughly around two, two and a half, perhaps three hours, depending on how complicated those shunting operations will be on Cumberland Yard. I doubt we will get to our destination any sooner. But we'll find out about it. So far things are going really good. Should be nice and relaxing drive. Okay, let's go to notch 4. Okay, we can now hear the locomotive or the engines. Wow, the visibility is really terrible. I like it. I really like it. Okay, let's go to external camera. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. A nice screenshot. That will be very useful. For a thumbnail. Okay. We're doing great so far, but we have just only started. Oh well, this should be fairly standard, right? I don't expect any issues, as I said before. Unless we have any actual pre-programmed issues on this scenario. There should be no problems whatsoever. Okay, let's reduce the power to notch 2. I don't want to go above the speed limit. such will go down a little bit. Hmm, it just reminds me, I, I think I forgot to sound a horn while moving out. It shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Okay, speed limit went up for a minute but it will go back down to 35 miles per hour I think if I keep current uh, current power settings I should be able to, yeah, I should be able to slow down before I reach the point where speed limit will go down. Do I? Okay, let's let it go so that the train will actually slow down below 36. 
come on, 600 yards. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to use actual brakes. Okay, let's use independent brake to slow us down. Alright, that should do. Let's release them now. 34 miles per hour, that's... That's a pretty good speed. Oh wow, visibility, look at this. It's absolutely terrible. We can barely see what's in front of us. That's not a good conditions. Hopefully the weather will calm down a bit. Because that is definitely not a good weather. Oh my goodness me. Okay, let's give it notch 2 on the throttle. That should hold us at current speed, more or less. And we are just slightly slowing down. But that's fine. Wow. <laughs> we can just see a few hundred yards in front of us. Wow, this is terrible. Okay, let's let's give it notch three as we are climbing uphill. Okay, speed started to increase a bit. Did it? Nah, it's actually staying at the same spot. That's perfect. Oh, now we are going slightly downhill. And the train is picking up some speed. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. this weather hopefully it won't get worse okay okay Beautiful. So far we're doing great. But it's gonna take a while before we reach Cumberland. That's for sure. It is a very long route. There we go. Okay, another 35 speed limit zone. Perfect. I guess we will just enjoy the ride. <laughs> fairly standard and after we've done so many scenarios it's it's like 
it became a routine. Uh, I guess that's that's what you're gonna get while, or if you ever become a driver of an actual train, if, if you were ever dreaming about it, or if you were aiming for such goal. Uh, that's that's the kind of thing you will have to deal with. It's it's all that routine. If you drive on a same route over and over and over and over again, then obviously, well, there's not much that can uh, surprise you anymore. Uh, that's that's the life on a railroad. Uh, you you don't have to turn well you basically can't turn your vehicle as as you wish uh, you you can't perform various different maneuvers as you wish you have to follow all those rules and you have to follow the rails and the rails don't change from day to day obviously like if infrastructure gets upgraded or, or something yes there's gonna be slight changes but for most part, yeah, they almost never change. It's the same old routine. You just have to drive. The only thing that changes is the weather, time of day, and the date. <laughs> you see, obviously, get older and older. Oh dear. Anyway, let's end with this sad topic. Uh, I don't really... Well, I don't really have any topics prepared. Uh, it's like, for me, it's a standard day. It's currently Sunday when I'm recording this, but... Well, you will be watching this in about two weeks on Friday. <laughs> yes, that's that's how early I record my videos. I just post them once a week. So you guys will have plenty of time to watch one episode before another one will came out. Uh, for some of you, it might be a bit of a struggle to wait for such a long time. But, well... That's how schedules works. I, I upload my videos by schedule. So you never miss a new release. <laughs> but there are pros and cons of such behavior. And it also helps me like keep into 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 work, yeah. Because if I know that I got a video that I need to make for a specific date. Uh, it actually keeps me motivated. Uh, when I was uploading without a schedule, I, I, could, I could never motivate myself to record a new one. Like, it was... Uh, it was weird. Uh, obviously, when you start doing YouTube, or when you start uh, streaming or, or any other content creation, uh, at, at the very beginning you feel that anxiety mm, how how it how people will take that video if they're gonna like it if they're gonna like what you do and so far I'm, I'm really happy how how people take those videos even though many of them don't get uh, that much attention but well obviously I often upload long videos uh, because each of these routes is eventually gonna take me about two three hours to finish so yeah uh, not many people like to watch two three hour video but some people do and, and i'm really happy about it and that that was the target audience like i'm glad to to have you guys here and i hope you're gonna stay That's really nice. So yeah, uh, if any of you ever plans to upload anything on YouTube, don't be afraid. Just record a video, post it. It doesn't hurt anyone. 
and you won't get any of those nasty comments. YouTube will delete them before you can see them anyway. <laughs> That's their policy, so uh, you, you won't see all those haters uh, like posting all those hate comments. I think I've seen one so far uh, because YouTube's algorithm fails once and like the comments really didn't make it to, to the channel anyway uh, because even though their algorithm failed to delete it automatically uh, it went to section of the comments which are held for review so it didn't make up to, to YouTube anyway <laughs> oh dear and don't get me wrong, I'm I'm open for criticism, and and there are some criticism comments on on my channel. You can find them underneath various different videos. Uh, but definitely hate and outright hate won't be tolerated. So I I won't respond to such comments. Anyway. Uh, that's that's how it is on YouTube. So yeah, yeah. Uh, if you've ever wanted to post your own videos about your own gameplay, or perhaps uh, from your train spotting adventures, yeah, just do it. It's it's really nice to watch some of those videos on YouTube. And I've seen that many of those videos get pretty good reception. Oh, there we go. That was the horn. <laughs> oh dear, for, for some reason I'm I'm using uh, controls from train driver. <laughs> and sometimes I keep forgetting which button does what. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for playing train driver so much. It's really fun game. Uh, if if you've never watched any of my Train Driver 2 videos, uh, there is a playlist on my channel. Uh, you can have a look at it. It's a free game. Uh, it's a rail sim created by Polish community. Uh, you can also download it for free. And yeah, you can take role as a train driver or as a dispatcher and, and route your own trains uh, along various different stations that were created by uh, other users. Uh, it's also ha well, it also has multiplayer, which is quite a unique uh, feature for train sim games. Uh, so perhaps that's why it is so nice to play it. Right, but let's get back to Train Sim World 2, shall we? <laughs> uh, we are we are still heading towards uh, what is it sun patch number one yes that's our next destination we should reach it in four and a half miles um, that shouldn't take too long we have now begun our climb so we should reach it in just a few minutes let's give it a notch four and it seems like my locomotives are struggling a little bit Oh, I think we got another whistle board. Yes, it is. Okay, let's sound the horn. We still got green signals. Which is perfect. Okay, it seems like notch 4 is sufficient for now, even though we are climbing at a very steep hill for a train. 1.2% is really steep. But we should make it. Wow, I I, I can't believe we, we managed to reach the end of Sandpatch Crate and with with this one it will be the end. That that's me gone from this scenery. It's there's no more scenarios to finish. I, I think there is one in, in like normal scenarios, but 
it doesn't really have any goal. It, you are just roaming around Cumberland Yard. So not sure if you have any tasks in there or, or something. Uh, I won't be bothered to, to actually complete it. At least not anytime soon. Uh, but if there are any more scenarios that will be released, I might come back to this route. Honestly, I, I perhaps will be missing this some, somehow. I don't know, I, I get mixed feelings about it. It's, it's, it became my comfort zone. I, I feel fairly confident driving around this route, but it became really boring. Uh, you could say that, yeah, it, it became somewhat boring uh, and it became that routine that I was mentioning before. Uh, and right now, yeah, I, I will have to switch to something else because obviously I want to pump out a new content. And yeah, there is that mix of, I don't know, uh, sadness and anxiety uh, about learning a new route. Uh, but there is also that, that part of me that is excited to, to move to something different, to something new. Uh, I don't know how, how often you guys get that, but yeah, uh, I, I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, uh, looks like we can quite easily keep our speed. We are actually speeding up, which is nice. Okay, we are now going through this village, which means that Sand Patch is very close. Well, after all, it's just three miles. It shouldn't take long. Uh, six minutes, perhaps, and we should be there. At least if if the speed limits match uh, a proper speed that, that your train is actually achieving in the game. Because it's, it's really hard to program it correctly. Like You can program the numbers and, and try to convince the user, yeah, this is indeed 30 miles per hour, uh, but in game distances on actual map uh, won't actually represent that you won't get that feeling that you are traveling at 30 miles per hour for example and travel times will differ greatly from the reality so it's uh, it's a bit difficult to program it I guess it's also interesting how they do it it's like if you think about it, you know, when, when you travel at, let's say, 60 miles per hour, then technically you should cover one mile per minute. And very often you, you just don't feel that, that it takes that short to, uh, to go through that distance. I don't know, I, I often get that feeling. Like Right now we are traveling well, just above 30 miles per hour, so I would assume it will take us roughly around 4 minutes uh, to get to our destination. I wonder if it's really gonna take us that long or that short. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. I'm really curious about it. I, I never actually checked it. There we go, another green signal and another 35 miles per hour speed limit. I don't think it's gonna go down. Oh, and there is a whistle board. Beautiful. We are doing just great. No issues so far. Okay. 
Okay, we are doing exactly 30 miles per hour. One point seven miles to go. Wow, this weather is not gonna get better, is it? Well, I still got hopes that by the end of the route and we will see some sun or that the rain will lower down a bit uh, so, so we won't get that absolutely terrible weather throughout the entire route but who knows it's not often that it's raining for such a long period of time well i live in uk so it can rain all the time <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, th there are even entire weeks when it's almost raining and it always has to rain when I got to go to work and I travel by bicycle, so... <laughs> so it's absolutely terrible to, to get there, but yeah. For past few days, I, we've been having pretty good weather, at least it wasn't raining when I, when I had to go uh, to, to work or anywhere else. Uh, but very often there are times that, oh no, you have to leave and, and it's absolutely pouring. It's, uh, yeah, those days are terrible, isn't it? <laughs> oh well, but that's what I get for not having a car. Believe it or not, I don't even have a driver's license. Uh, but well, uh, it's mostly thanks to pandemic. Uh, since it started m in March last year uh, all those lockdowns and stuff I, I postponed or my all my plans to eventually get a driver's license finally at the age of 32 oh my goodness me um, I'm so old and I still don't have driver's license I feel well embarrassed <laughs> a little bit but yeah it's, it's it sounds a bit embarrassing that at this age I, I still don't have driver's license. <laughs> it seems like a standard these days that young people around age of 18 get their first driver's license. And unfortunately I'm not one of them. Nah, but seriously. At, at the age of 18, I was absolutely terrible driver. Oh my goodness me. I became a bit better. Uh, there, there was a point in my life when I owned a 1 to 5 motorcycle. So it definitely put me a little bit more up to speed. Uh, and I used to drive this thing. Uh, you actually don't need a full driver's license to, to do so in the UK. So uh, that's that's really nice uh, you just need to finish a day course and, and you can drive for the next two years so I never bothered to actually finish a driver's license uh, but then the bike got stolen and well <laughs> I'm back to cycling <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear yeah but it was really fun I, I really miss my bike uh, perhaps one day I could buy another one in fact, I don't really need a car, if you think about it. It would be useful if I would decide to move houses or something. Yeah, it's, it's always useful to have a car. You can always shove some of your belongings uh, into it and, and just drive to, to a new place. Uh, it's definitely much easier than trying to move things using a bike or bicycle. And it makes things much cheaper the end of the day right uh, the speed seems to be stable hopefully I won't be sent to that side track uh, do I uh, 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 yeah okay we are going ahead that's perfect because uh, there's that nasty yeah dwarf signal that we are just passing right next to and yeah I, I remember this one <laughs> <laughs> I very well remember this one. Oh dear. It messed up one of my recordings. 
and there was that mission where we had to go on that left track and back then uh, I failed to stop at, at this dwarf signal and I had to repeat everything from the scratch uh, that was really terrible uh, but that's how you learn the routes okay anyway we need to set up for dynamic braking we are now going downhill I will still let it coast for a while Oh, there we go. We are now entering the tunnel. Yeah, I, I really can't wait for the time when Dovte will finally fix lightning in, in their game because it doesn't look good, isn't it? Like, we are traveling in the tunnel, I can understand that, but those lights doesn't seem to light up things correctly. I, I can't see the rails in front of me and you would assume, well, they will reflect the light and, and that would be realistic approach to the things. Uh, right, let's turn on dynamic brakes a little bit. As the train started to speed up. Ooh. Okay. We're doing pretty good. We're now at 25 miles per hour. Oh, we are actually slowing down. This is interesting. Okay, let's let's go down to notch one. So I don't want to bring the train to complete stop. I just want to keep my speed at a stable levels. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That doesn't look good. Why are we still slowing down if we are going downhill? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, we are now leaving the tunnel. Okay, new speed limit is 30 miles per hour. Perfect. Okay, let's let it coast. Uh, let's see if we can regain some speed. For now we will be able to travel at around 30 miles per hour, uh, but then the speed will go down to 25. Very good. We are picking up some speed. Okay, we are now going down on a very steep hill, so that should help us keep more stable speeds uh, while dynamically braking. Okay, let's use notch one, that should hold us more or less at current speed. Seems like it's very light consist. I didn't check what, uh, what's the weight of our train. I should have done that. Yeah, it's, it was displayed on the, on the start screen, but I, I didn't pay attention to this. Okay, we can go down to notch two.
No, we are still picking up speed. Notch 3. Okay, Notch 3 seems to be holding us a little bit more stable. Oh, the speed is actually dropping. That's good. Yeah, it seems like the consist is very light. Okay, let's go to notch 2. Oh wow, we are going down on that very steep hill and it doesn't really feel like a challenge anymore. All I have to do is to control my dynamic braking and I should be easily able to keep stable speed. Okay, notch 3. Okay, let's go up to notch 5. And now back down to 3. Oh, there we go. There is another train passing next to us. Looks like he's going to pick up some coal from local mines. Okay, down to notch 2. Yeah, the power is going down. But so is the speed. Oh. I knew I missed something. Yeah, there was a whistle board earlier on. And again, I was so focused on my speed that I completely missed that. Right, let's go down to notch one. Perfect. Speed should now be increasing a little bit. Yep. And that's exactly what's happening. Perfect. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That weather. Just look at this. It's pouring rain all the time. Okay, let's give it notch 2. That should keep us at the right speed. Or maybe not. Is it? No, it doesn't look like it's gonna be. Notch 3. 
There we go. Now the speed is going down. Perfect. Okay, back to notch two. Okay, things are going pretty well. If we keep that pace, we should get to Cumberland pretty quickly. It will definitely take us much longer than 90 minutes, but there is no rush. We are not on a timetable. So that should be quite easy. Yeah, this kind of scenarios are very easy compared to like a passenger timetables where you have to bring the train to a proper speed and then slow down. You, you definitely have to get out from your comfort zone a little bit in order to fulfill a timetable on time. So they can be really tough. And no wonder, well passengers really want to be able to predict when their train is going to arrive and well rail companies want to squeeze out every single penny out of every timetable so everything goes by the schedule when it comes to freight trains well you just need to go from point A to point B cargo needs to be delivered uh, you get much wider range of estimates when it comes to when you have to arrive right let's give it notch three because soon we should see that 25 miles per hour speed limit and i don't want to be above the speed limit uh, at any point Yeah, I think after next one there will be very short section of tracks and then speed limit will go down to 25. Very often I get caught by that. Not today though. <laughs> Not today. Yeah, we should be okay with 20 miles per hour. There's no rush. After all, it's our final and last scenario. Let's enjoy it. It's, it's like eating really good dish. You, you just want to make it last. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just as I predicted. Very short distance between this sign and a new speed limit. And now, there we go, speed limit is 25. Perfect. Okay, there's 9.9 9, 9 .9 miles until we get to Heinemann. Oh, there we go. I, I missed another whistle board. I'm sure about it. Because those should be placed in front of those uh, railway crossings. And 
sadly. I was again too focused on looking at my speed and I wasn't obser observing what's in front of me. That's a bad habit, I'd say. That is a very bad habit. I need to get rid of that. Oh, there we go. There's another whistle board. This time, I won't miss it. Okay, horn sounded. Perfect. Okay, let's go to notch 3 for a while. Let's drop the speed down to 20. Okay, perfect. Now we can keep it that way. We went down a little bit more than planned, but well. It's not a big deal. We'll get back to proper speed. Is it? Is the speed increasing? No, the speed is actually decreasing. Okay. Let's go back to notch one. Perfect. Now we're gaining some speed. Back at 20. Can go up by a notch. Wow, this weather is really terrible. It's been a while since we began this journey. And it's still not going down. It's still pouring rain. Eight and a half miles to go. Okay, notch three. Let's drop the speed down to 20. Okay, that should do. Perfect. Just perfect.
Okay, it looks like we are picking up some speed. That's good. That's very good. Nice and slow. No rush. It's better to be safe than sorry. Still slowing down. No. No. Don't slow down. Come on. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, we are slowing down. Or maybe. Ooh, the speed is very unstable. That's no good. I don't like when that happens. Right, let's go down to notch one. seems to be pretty reliable in slowing down our speed increase oh in 1.2 miles we will be able to speed up to 35 miles per hour but it's just for a brief moment I actually don't see a reason why I should go that far okay the incline is going down a bit it's now at less than one percent all right things are looking good so theoretically notch two should now be sufficient to slow us down Well, that is if if the power is going to increase before our speed will reach 25. And the power doesn't seem to be increasing at a high enough rate. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, things seems to be working pretty well. The hill is not that steep anymore. But that will change. I'm sure it will change. Okay, back to notch one. Let's allow train the train to pick up some speed. Because I don't want to travel all the way with 15 miles per hour. I would rather prefer to keep around 20, 25. Well, 25 is already excessive, but... Definitely around 20 miles per hour should be sufficient. Okay, speed is now picking up. Is it? Or it isn't? Hmm. Well, we will find out soon enough. Yeah, it's very unstable right now. Okay, I, I guess... We need to let it go... For a second or two.
Okay, it went up to 15. Let's put it on notch 1 and let's see if... This will help. Okay. So is it gonna go down or is it gonna go up? That's the question. should start going up uh, because the hill is now a bit steeper so it, sh it should be better and we are now about yeah we are now an hour into this scenario so technically according to initial information on this scenario card we should arrive at Cumberland within the next 30 minutes. Um, I, I doubt it will happen. Oh, that was a whistle board. I just spotted it in the last second. Oh, wow. It, it's been a while since we passed that 35 miles per hour mark. And the speed limits still haven't increased. But we are, we are picking up some speed, which is good. Thankfully there is no need to rush. So let's keep it that way. And we should get to our destination in one piece. Oh, there we go, the speed limit went up 30. That will change really soon, if I remember correctly. We'll see, we'll see. Oh great. <laughs> I missed another whistle board, apparently. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, it looks like speed limit has increased to 30 and it's gonna stay like that, isn't it? I think it should stay for a while. So I'm gonna let the train to pick up speed above 25 miles per hour this time and that should help us get to Cumberland a little bit sooner ok 
Okay, there's the first bridge. Uh, so we should be approaching that tunnel. Yeah, we should be very close to the tunnel. We are also less than six miles away from Hindman. And from there, we will be able to push it harder. Because that's when speed limit will go up to 50. So from there, it shouldn't take long to reach Cumberland. Obviously, on Cumberland, uh, there is that uh, nasty speed limit of 15 miles per hour. So, again, we will have to slow down really greatly. Then we have to leave those wagons at the right siding. And it's only then that we can leave the train and finish off this scenario. So, yeah, uh, realistically, it will take us just short of three hours today. Not a bad result, to be fair. Okay, we're doing 30, 26 or 36. I wish. I really wish. Okay. Let's go to notch 2. So that we won't go above the speed limit. I think at some point the speed limit will eventually go down to 25 again. So I need to be wary of that. We are still picking up the speed. Hopefully notch 2 will be sufficient. Okay, another bridge, which means that the tunnel should be just up ahead. I think it's right behind the next bend, if I remember this route correctly. <laughs> We are still picking up the speed. Let's go to notch 3. For just a second. Okay, back to notch 2. That should be sufficient. To keep us slowing down. For now, the speed limit will stay at 30, which is very good. Okay, we are doing good so far. Oh, so that's the bridge right in front of the tunnel. Yeah, there it is. My goodness me, that route feels longer and longer every time. Okay, and that's five miles away from Hindman.
Okay. Ooh. Speed is now increasing. Let's go up to notch 3. I really don't want to go above 30 miles per hour. We were doing too good to waste it. Let's try to get perfect score in the last scenario. Okay, back to notch 2. And another whistle board. We are now getting very close to Hanman. Still 30 miles per hour on a speed limit. Things are just going perfect. If only the weather would be good. Four miles to go. Okay, speed limit will still stay at 30 miles per hour. That sounds really good. Oh dear. Please stop raining. Okay, back to notch 3. Perfect. Perfect. Come on, come on, slow down. We might need that. So I think the speed limit should go down really soon. That's why I will push it down to... 20 this time. Okay. That should do. Now we will be slowly regaining some speed. Are we? I think we might have went down a little bit too much. Yep. 
Yeah, let's temporarily go down to notch one. Three miles behind Mun. Okay, back to notch two. Perfect. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I guess for the last scenario they decided that, yeah, let's give the player the worst possible weather. Uh, let's give him pretty nice concerts that he can't see. <laughs> and then let's do it! Yay! <laughs> and that's how we got here. Oh dear, oh dear. But I have to admit that rain looks really good in this game. So that's that's at least one thing. Oh, we are still slowing down. So let's get back to notch one. Okay, about two and a half miles to go. We should be there in no time. Back to notch two. Now it should work better. And yeah, we are still picking up the speed. Ooh. Okay, notch three. Let's slow down. That one last time, I guess. Two miles to go. There we go, we are below 25. Now let's go down to notch 2 and let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, the next speed limit will be 50. Just less than two miles. So yeah, I think that was the last time we had to slow down. Which is great. 
all we have to do is wait until our train reaches the right spot perfect just perfect Still raining. Wow. Doesn't want to let go. To be fair, we haven't seen that many trains on this route today. It's, uh, it's pretty silent. I would expect tracks to be a bit busier, but well. It is what it is. Things are going nice and smooth. There's no traffic. Nothing. I think we passed next to only one train, apart from the train that we've seen at the very beginning. Yeah, things are going very slow. Less than one and a half miles to go. Okay, we are picking up the speed. Now doing 26 miles per hour. And that's the one last bend. After this one, we are officially at Hindman. Question is, will I have to slow down once more, or can I just keep the speed that I'm currently on? I, I, no, I, I think I will have to go up by a notch. Let's be safe. Yeah, that's the 50 miles per hour speed limit sign. But we still have to travel throughout the length of our train. Another whistle board. Yeah, I will just drop the speed down to 25. There we go. And that should do it. As soon as the speed limit increases, I can let it coast for a while. Ok, 
Okay, we're almost there. I think shortly after this bridge, we we should see the speed limit jump to 50. Oh, there's another whistle board. Oh, there we go. Okay, we can now let it coast. Oh, and there's another one. Perfect. Now we can fly this thing. <laughs> yeah, it should take us roughly around 20 minutes to get to Cumberland. With 50 miles per hour, that, that will be very short route. Even though it's 11 miles, it won't take long. Perfect. Just perfect. much better to travel at that speed okay at 45 I will start adding some dynamic brakes perhaps yeah notch 2 should be sufficient Okay, another whistle board. Perfect. Okay, forty five, forty six. Let's go back to notch one we don't need to brush oh there we go finally we can see another train single containers on the platforms mm, that's that's good wow this one is very long And just look at it, uh, we've already covered nearly two miles. And we've just only started. Another whistle board. Yeah, we are flying this thing right now. Pretty good. Stable 45. That's what I want to see.
Okay, it's less than 8 miles to go. Wow. We will definitely fly through this section. Okay, there was some radio chatter. Too bad they didn't program any uh, actual radio messages so that we can actually hear what's happening on, on the railroad. So you would assume that, well, every single post is only a single radio channel. So right now, as we are approaching Cumberland, uh, we should technically start hearing chatter from uh, from there. And if there are any other trains on the railroad, and, and there's always something, uh, we would be able to hear a chatter between uh, signaler and other trains, like yeah. Things about maneuvers, things about uh, requesting track warrants and, and stuff. That would be cool. If they would only record some fake chatter and, and like allow players to turn on the radio and, and have it, that, that would be cool. So far, there is only radio static, which, it, yeah, it, it makes things a bit less realistic and and too silent at some point. Normally, there there is quite a lot of chatter, or you would expect that there will be. Okay, speed dropped down to 43, but I'm not too worried about it. It's mostly because incline went down. It will now be going up and down, unfortunately. When we drop down to 40, I will let it coast for a while. Okay, we got first yellow signal in 2.2 miles. So it looks like we will have to stop briefly before entering Cumberland. Okay, let's let it go. Less than five miles to go. It went pretty fast, isn't it? Okay, the speed is slowly climbing. Oh, 
Oh, finally, we could hear some fake radio chatter, so, so they actually did something. Oh, that's interesting. I actually never noticed that, that they did something like that. It's nice to hear that, and that's exactly what I was expecting. Okay, the speed limit will stay at 50 for now. I wonder for how long, because we are getting very, very close to next post or next checkpoint. And if I remember correctly, it should start dropping down to 35 and then to 20. Or 25, something like that. Okay, yellow signal. That's the first one. Second one gonna follow in 2.2 miles. Okay, let's start slowing down. Yep, and that's gonna be 35 miles per hour speed limit. Let's give it just notch one. For now. That should do. Three miles to go. Perfect. Notch one should slow us down to perhaps like 37. Especially now, when we are on even ground. Hmm. Perhaps we will be able to slow down below 35 on notch 1. So I'm gonna keep it that way. Okay. Let's let it coast for now. That should do. We're down to 34. Okay, back to notch one. We're going downhill. Perfect. And that's the speed limit sign. Very good. Okay. It will go up to 60, but as always... Oop, wrong way. Let's let it coast. We don't want to increase braking power. And back to notch one. Another whistle board. Okay, for a brief moment there will be a lot more happening. Well, a bit more happening, I guess. Not a lot, but a bit. <laughs> okay, another yellow signal, so the next one should be red. And how far is it? That's a good question. Or perhaps it will be green.
Who knows? No, red signal in two and a half miles. Okay. Let's not mess it up. In one mile, we have to go down to 25. I will go to notch two to slow us down. Hopefully that will be sufficient. Is it? Okay, we are slowing down. I might have to increase braking power if need. B. 30. Okay. It is steadily going down. Hopefully that will be enough. 28. Twenty seven. Twenty five. Okay, perfect. Uh, for safety, I will go down twenty three. Okay, let's reduce dynamic braking by a notch. It should still be enough to. S Keep slowing us down for a moment. Uh, but that's only until incline will get back to higher levels. It is now just 0.1%. Okay, let's let's let it coast for now. Oh, there we go. It's now back to 0.7 should be enough to slow us down from notch one is it no okay it's still too much let's slowly approach this red signal Right, very good. And let's speed up 20 and then we can add dynamic braking by a notch. There we go. That should do it. Perfect. Oh, there we go. The signal is now green. That's perfect. Let's slowly approach it. Let it coast again. Slow down a little bit too much. Perfect. Okay, okay. Signal is already set for us. So, 
All we have to do is to crawl to that Cumberland receiving yard track 8. And detach those last 12 wagons if I remember correctly. And then we will have to move to another truck. Or perhaps we will have to stay and the new crew will take over. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, things are looking very good. Oh, we are in fact slowing down even more. But that shouldn't be a big deal, uh, because very soon we should start going downhill. Yeah, there we go. We are now going downhill, so the train will pick up some speed. And as more and more wagons are entering that incline, we should start seeing speed going up faster and faster. Obviously right now it's pretty stable. Because the train is in more or less balanced state. But that will change really soon. Okay, there we go. Another whistle board. Four miles to go. We are now approaching Viaduct Junction. And there's another whistle board. Oh, okay, we got yellow light. Oh, okay, it changed to green. to keep observing that just in case there are some surprises oh. well the sounds do require a little bit of work uh, as you could hear uh, as we were passing underneath that viaduct uh, it just suddenly cut out, uh, which should not happen. Sounds should change, uh, but it should be slightly different. If you've ever been in a metal container or in a railway uh, wagon, as, as the train is passing underneath bridges, uh, while it's raining, obviously. Uh, you would know how the sound is changing. It just changes the pitch. Uh, but you never completely stop hearing the sound. Because obviously uh, the rain will hit other parts of the train. And, like, you would need to enter a much longer tunnel to actually hear the difference. Oh. I almost forgot, uh, there is 15 miles per hour, so let's use dynamic brake to slow us down. Okay, that should do. Uh, 
Okay, and we are now entering the sidings. Are we? No, we will continue on main line. That's good. Okay, we can switch power handle from dynamic brake to normal power. Let's give it a notch one so that we can actually keep some speed. And that's the 15 miles per hour limit. Very good. So now we have to go nice and slow. Okay, let's let it coast for now. We can now grab another screenshot. Perfect. Just perfect. That actually looks amazing. Okay, the train is picking up some speed as we are going downhill. Okay, we can now jump back to the cabin. use a little bit of independent brake to slow us down is that going to be sufficient? no it's not notch one come on come on I'm absolutely sure that notch one should be sufficient to keep the speed perfect Let's drop it down to 10. There's no need to rush. Okay, that should do. And now let it close. The speed limit will increase to 35 anyway. Oh wow, going up really fast. Give it notch one again and dynamic brake. Oh 
Okay, that's good. Oops, wrong way. Now we are going uphill. Perfect. We still got two and a half miles to go. Okay, that's good. We can now give it notch one. And power up a little bit. Not for long though. As soon as we go past the uh, first part of uh, Cumberland Yards, uh, we will be entering to those receiving yards. So there is no need to go too fast. I think it's just behind that yellow signal that uh, that we will have to enter the siding anyway. Is it? Yeah, I think it should be somewhere around that yellow signal or perhaps at the next one. really remember anymore hmm, maybe it's the next one yeah it might be Yeah, it's gonna be the next one. Perfect. Okay, this one's green. 1.6 miles. Okay, that that sounds reasonable. We technically could go faster, but uh, slowing down with a freight train is not that easy. And I don't want to risk getting over the speed limit. Ooh, uh, Windows decided to send me notifications right now. I don't know why. Uh, I'm in full screen application, but well, eventually Windows decided to do that. So my apologies for that sound. That was very unexpected. Okay, we can let it coast. We started to go downhill. might be at the next signal that we have to slow down. Hmm. Yeah, let's quickly check it.
Uh, yeah, it is shortly after the next signal. We will have to slow down and the route is set for us by the looks of it. Yes, it is. That's good. Okay, we should be able to slow down using dynamic brake. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. The hill is not that steep. Especially here at the yard. So we will just give it notch one on dynamic brake. And that should do. Worst case scenario we will just increase it by a notch. Okay, we are slowing down. We should be alright. Very good. We are now at the speed limit. Let's just go down by a touch more. Still got 500 yards to go. Perfect. I can now let it coast. And that should get us where we want it. Okay, for now it took us just a bit longer than two hours. Uh, to be exact, two hours and six minutes so far. So the longest part will be pulling into that siding because it's still like a mile or two. And obviously traveling such a long distance with uh, with a speed of 10 or, or 15 miles, it, it's gonna take ages. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, I can switch power handle. Okay, that's a great green signal to enter the siding. The right one, the left one doesn't apply to our truck. And there we go. In 1.7 mile we got red signal. And that's where we have to stop. Okay, notch one up on the accelerator and we are getting on to the siding. Perfect. Finally, I'd say. <laughs> We've been waiting for this moment for such a long time, did we? Last scenario. Last final stretch. Let's do it. All we have to do now is to stop at the right moment, and that's it. Wow. That feels great, actually. With that scenario, we will be able to achieve our goal of completing all journey missions on Sunpatch Great. That's a nice first small achievement, isn't it? Uh, it's like... We could call it a first milestone in order to complete all the journey missions in... 
train sim world 2. Uh, I'm not sure if if I will ever achieve that, providing that I do one scenario a week. Uh, but that would be a nice achievement to do. Uh, what would be even better achievement uh, is to complete all of the scenarios with a gold medal, which, as you probably remember, I still have two journey mission scenarios on Sandpatch that I need to repeat in that case. Uh, but eventually, if I will ever get back to them, it's gonna be at the very end of my journey. And it will take a long, long time before I will be able to do that. If I will ever be. Just remember, releasing one video a week means that an average scenario that has over 30 missions is taking quite a long time. But wow, we're here. 1.2 miles away from our goal. Really feels great. It just feels amazing. Okay, I have to stop 650 yards away from here. We can let it coast. I completely forgot, we still need to leave those 12 wagons on one of the sidings. So I believe we will have to reverse uh, back to a different siding. Or the game just requires us to run back to our train, uncouple those wagons and just leave it like that. It's either one of two of those options. If they want to keep it simple, we will just have to uncouple the wagons and, and then the scenario will end. Because there is no need for us to actually move away. Uh, the next crew should take over. But who knows? On the other hand, the manifest says it's Chicago to Cumberland. So technically... This train is gonna stay in here. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Or maybe the signal will just change to green. We will have to pull o uh, yeah, pull away and push the wagons to a siding right next to us. Mm, there's many possibilities. We'll find out really soon. Okay, the train is slowing down on its own, because I decided to let it go, which is fine. We still got 170 yards to go. I'm not sure if the train will actually reach that point. I might need to give it a notch more on the throttle. We'll find out. So far we're doing good. Nice and slow, I'd say. It's just 100 yards to go. By the looks of it, we should be perfectly fine. And without too much of braking, we should be able to stop at the right point. 50 yards. Yep, yeah, we are definitely going to crawl in to that point. 30 yards. 20 yards. 10 yards, 5, okay, and we can now stop, okay, so now we need to uncouple 12 vehicles, let's apply brakes fully, ooh, this is gonna be terrible, it's raining, it's raining, I don't like when it's raining. Okay, so last 12. My goodness me, how long this train is.
Right, objective marker is... Well, objective markers are turned off. So I need to be... Careful... Which vehicles... I'm going to decouple. Okay, 220 yards. Wow, this is a very long consist, isn't it? 150. We're almost there. 80 yards. Okay. 20, 10, 9. By the looks of it, that would be this one. Let's let's quickly count them. So that's the end. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So that should be... That this one. I think... No, I don't want to give control. Is that this one? No. Let's lock it again. That should be this one then. There we go. We got the right one. We can now run back to our locomotive. Objective completed. And we need to travel for one more mile. Okay, Cumberland receiving yard track 8. So we just need to pull away a couple of yards and that's it. Okay, that sounds good. We're almost there. Almost there. My goodness me. Yeah. Yeah, just a second. Let's climb up steps. Perfect. Okay. Great. Uh, so, let's sit down in engineer's seat. Let's release the brakes. Okay, 700 yards, so we need to pull closer to that signal. Okay. Perfect. We won't be going too fast. There's no point in doing such thing. Besides, I don't want to accidentally go behind that signal. Uh, it's usually placed very close to the marker. As you can see, they are roughly around the same distance away from me. Uh, which is one of the things that I dislike about how scenarios are made in this game. Because obviously it's very easy to pass the signal at uh, danger if if you do that so we need to be very careful with that okay but things are going really great
will be there in no time. And just as I predicted, it should take us roughly around two and a half hours to complete this scenario. That's very good. Okay, let's let it coast. Oh, now the tracks will go downhill. I need to be wary of that. Yeah, our stopping point is exactly at this signal. Just 25 yards difference. Ooh, this is really bad. I, I really hate when Dovetail does that. Uh, because normally what you would do, you would just stop at the safe distance away from from the signal. It wouldn't be exactly like 25 yards or something. So that strict waypoint based system is pretty broken, I'd say. Oh well, 700 yards to go. Let's set up dynamic brake. Uh, it will be very useful to stop at the right location. Okay, 580 yards to go. We're almost there. 400. Three fifty. Three hundred yards. Let's start slowing down using independent brake. Two hundred fifty yards. Okay, independent brake seems to be doing the job. Hundred fifty yards. You should soon see the signal. Hundred yards to go, yeah, we can see the signal. We are pulling in very, sh very slowly. Okay, 50 yards, a little bit more on independent brake, twenty five yards, we are now just crawling in. Let's release independent brake, we should be able to stop using only this one 14 yards at 10 yards I will increase independent brake there we go that should be a perfect stop perfect That was just a perfect stop. 
Oh, and we managed to achieve gold medal. Uh, no surprise here. It took us 2 hours, 23 minutes and 38 seconds to complete this scenario. We traveled 53.3 miles, which is pretty good. Well, you can say 53.4 uh, to, to round it up. Whew, we did a great job. We did absolutely great job. And with that said, well, after completing all the scenarios or all journey missions, we managed to achieve 22nd level of driver, 14th level on sand patch, and 11th level on AC4400 CWYN2, which is pretty good result. Right. Guys. I'm so glad to, to have you on board uh, throughout all these journeys. Uh, and well, uh, this, this scenario or end of this scenario marks a first milestone in completing all of the scenarios in Sun, well, in Sun Patch Great, in, uh, in Train Sim World 2, uh, because we've just completed all journey missions on Sun Patch Great, which is a third of what you get when you buy a base game. Uh, obviously there is much much more scenarios that I got available so we will definitely put them up for a vote as as I mentioned at the start of this uh, video. Uh, we will put up a vote and for next week uh, or so you can cast uh, your or make your decision what you would like to see in series 2. Uh, which will be named after the route we shall take. Right, guys, uh, it was absolutely amazing journey, and I'm really happy that it ended up so well. Whew. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get informed about my new content, hit that notification bell button and don't forget to share your comments down below. Have a great day and see you all later. Latur. Out.